Hi, what's your name? <laughs> no, Amanda. Amanda, you just told us an amazing story about one of your friends. What, what was that story? It's incredible. Um, I was just at a seminar a couple weeks ago, and one of the marketing people said that if you write a book to do reverse shoplifting and... Revert, hold on. Reverse shoplifting? <laughs> this is a concept? Is it catching on? Is it in Wikipedia? Yeah, like three people that I know have already done it. What, what is it? <laughs> in the States. What, but what is reverse shoplifting? They take their book that they wrote and they put yeah. it next to the shelf, next to like a Tony Robbins book right here. <laughs> You they put it? it on a shelf. Yes, they, they put it on a shelf. They sneak their own book in yeah. and leave it there. To be able to publicize it online everywhere that your book is next to Tony Robbins. Oh, <laughs> my God. So they take their own book that they own, yeah. and when nobody's looking, they put it on the shelf. Yes. And if somebody buys it, they take it to the counter, and they pay the the shop like 20 or 30 dollars yeah but then how do they get paid i don't know they don't that's it's not about getting paid it was about it's about the publicity i'm freaking believing <laughs> the guy who spoke before you in la is the one who actually told the story and who did it and and there's a an actual thing called reverse shoplifting yep <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> this, that's insane. I've never, honest, in all my years, I've never heard of reverse shoplifting. I had so, either until two weeks ago. <laughs> so, reverse shoplifting is you take something that you already own uh -huh. and you steal it to the store. Yep. <laughs> you gotta make sure nobody sees you, right? And, you, and the store steals it from you right? with your permission. It's insane. It's insane. And and you and several several people. This is on Facebook. Yeah, right here. And several people you know. Several. Like yeah. How many? Several. Three. I know. Three, three people you know. Yep. Yeah, have done it. Are are. And they post it on Facebook and they post it everywhere. Look where my book is next to Tony Robbins. Oh, I get it. They sneak it on the shelf, and then. Uh, and they leave it there. And the funny thing is, when when the books are all gone, guess what they do? They skew. They. They take that um, code and they order more books because the people say, well, what happened to that book? This is the last <laughs> one. So they put it beside Tony Robbins, they take a picture, mm -hmm. and they say, my book is right beside Tony Robbins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's freaking unbelievable. <laughs> Co-branding, up-branding, reverse branding, <laughs> theft branding. Reverse something branding. <laughs> it's, it's reverse something. <laughs> it's just, it's what did you say? It's reverse what? Shoplifting branding. It's shoplifting. It's no, reverse, reverse shoplifting, shoplifting branding. branding. There you go. Yeah, it's if a new you, term. If you Google it, it says shop dropping. Oh. See? Shop dropping. Yes. There's an official. People drop their book at a bookstore. Mm hmm. Or whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> like, if I owned a butcher store, I wouldn't expect people to come and drop off a cow. <laughs> It, I'm, it, it, if I owned a hardware store, I wouldn't expect people to sneak in hammers and give them. This is unbelievable. It's a wonderful story. Oh my God.